Hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're living. I am Matt Taylor and this is In the Kitchen with Matt, my monthly live stream. I was probably supposed to do it last week. I normally try to do it the first Saturday of the month, but here we are, <laughs> second Saturday of the month. Hope you are all doing well and we will get started here shortly. Just wait for a few people few more people to join the stream. And make sure you can hear me. Drop a comment in the chat section if you can hear me and see me. Good morning, Mrs. Tal30. And if throughout this stream, if you see that I'm just kind of silent and staring at the screen, it's because I'm just reading the comments. And there is a bit of a delay between when I speak and when you actually hear it. I think it's about 10 second delay, 15 second delay of what I see on my screen to what you see on your screen. Hello, Amy and Audrey, Zena, Jason. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Hope you're all doing well and having a, a great start to the weekend. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Veronica. My Saturday is going well, Mrs. Tal30. I've, I've been up for about an hour. I got up about 7 a.m about 6.50 a.m. and uh, did a few things first to prepare for this live stream and uh, yeah should be a great day today. Starting to heat up here in Phoenix. Past couple days it was near 100 degrees and I think it's gonna be maybe mid 90s right now. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna hit 100 and it's not gonna dip below 100 again until like October and then we'll get up to like 115, 117. It gets really hot here during the summer. Audrey made the crepes for your family. Awesome. What is your question, Emi? Forty to fifty, forty to fifty degrees, Audrey. What state are you in? Doing well, Jason. Oh, it's fifty-five in Wisconsin. Yeah, let's look at the um, what does it say for the weather? Let's see. So right now it is seventy-seven degrees. The high today is actually only going to be 91. Not bad. And it looks like this whole re week it may not even get to 100, which is awesome. There's a couple 99s. That's not too bad. My birthday is at the end of the month, and usually it already hits 100. Like I have a little party, um, backyard barbecue, barbecue at my house. And uh, usually it's always like 105. And so it's going <laughs> kind of hot working at the grill. But who knows, maybe it'll be in the 90s, stay in the mid-90s, then that'll be awesome. Audrey's in Illinois. Hello, Miss Feliz. You sharpened your knife, but it gets worse. How are you sharpening it? What are you using to sharpen it? Forty-two in Edmonton. Is that forty-two Fahrenheit or forty-two Celsius? I guess forty-two Celsius would be pretty hot. <laughs> Miss Feliz is in the Philippines in Manila. I have been to Manila a couple times. I used to live in the Philippines for a couple years, um, but I wasn't in 
Manila very much. I was down south in southern Luzon and also on Mindoro. So, Kamusta? Kamusta? Miss Feliz. Kamusta on Aromo? May is the best month, right, Teresa? The best month. <laughs> My brother's birthday is on May 11th. And yes, it is Mother's Day weekend. I think most countries celebrate tomorrow as Mother's Day. I think some countries do it on a different month and day. But I think there are a lot of countries that celebrate Mother's Day tomorrow, along with the United States. And yes, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. A little bit later on in the stream, I'm going to cover some um, what you know Food Network considers kind of the best Mother's Day breakfasts. And also then we'll look at delish.com and see what they have for um, ideas for um, lunch and dinner recipes. Of course, I will showcase my website and show um, recipes on there that you can do for Mother's Day if you want. Um, so awesome. Fahrenheit, yes. Okay, so that is pretty chilly. Just buy a sharpener. They are, there's actual knife sharpeners that you can get. That's good to use for your knife. I wonder how old your mom's kitchen sharpener is. It might be old, so you might just need to get a new one. Yes, I have heard of Sri Lanka. And Audrey's birthday, Audrey's sister's birthday is tomorrow on the 10th. Awesome. Or tomorrow is, yeah, the 9th. Ah, awesome. I'm glad you are having a great day, Miss Feliz. Hello, Sakina. Welcome. Welcome from Pakistan. Okay, so before we get into the meat of this uh, Q&A and giveaway and um, going over the recipes. I just want to showcase um, the social media. Um, so let's go over here. If you didn't know, I have a website in the kitchenwithmat.com and this is where I put all the recipes. You can find all the recipes on here, every one of them. Um, so you can just adjust the main when you click on the icon, it just takes you just to the main home page. Um, and then there's 39 pages of recipes, so that's a lot of recipes. Or you could also click on this, just the main recipe and see them by the pictures. Or you can just click the down arrow here or just highlight that and you can go to the different categories. You can go here to interesting info and this is where um, if it's not a recipe and not a review, it'll be here. A lot of the fruit taste testing and uh, a lot of the different recipes there, or not recipes, but yeah, a lot of the fruits and something like this, like how to cook rice, the rice cooker. You can go to the product, product reviews and take a look at those if you want. Of course, they link to the YouTube channel, contact, shop, private policy. So check that out. Make sure if you ever like are watching a YouTube video and you want the recipe, I usually have the link to the recipe in the description of each video, so you can do that. Also, Join the Facebook, the Facebook, facebook.com in slash in the kitchen with Matt. We got to get that follower count up. It's only 51,000. <laughs> we need more, need more. And I will post over there as well. Some people prefer like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram over YouTube. So I try to post in all those different spots. Also, I have another YouTube channel, Matt Taylor Variety Channel. And uh, lately I've been talking about cryptocurrency, but I have a variety of things on there, tutorials on different things, um, cryptocurrency, video production basics, the Lego costume, uh, creative date ideas, a lot of fun stuff that you can check out. A lot of early videos from when I was really young. You can check out that channel if you want. Subscribe over there. And then Pinterest is In the Kitchen with Matt. All my pins. 
Instagram is at Insta in the kitchen with Matt as well. And I post some different pictures there from my life that aren't necessarily that aren't necessarily on my um, Facebook and aren't and are not on YouTube. Like some places when I go out to eat, like this was a really good place called Nando's Restaurant here in um, Phoenix area, and it was really good. This was from a a corn dog food truck, which was amazing. This was from a place called Caldwell County Barbecue. Amazing barbecue place. Anyway, this was from a Filipino restaurant. Um, Filipino restaurant at the Mekong Asian Market. Really yummy food. Anyway, check that out. And then on the Twitter. Twitter is only at Kitchen with Matt. It couldn't let me do the full name because it wouldn't allow that many characters. Yeah. So make sure to check all those out and join them. Subscribe, follow. Kelly Peck, what's up? My friend Kelly Peck. Hey, hey. So Kelly um, just joined. I don't know how long she's going to be on the stream, but uh, she's my friend and lives here locally. And you can see her and I in, let's see. So you can see Kelly with me in this video right here, how to make a triple berry pie. Um, so I have two versions. I have a short version and a long version. The long version, we're in there and we're chatting away, talking about how to make the pie. Kelly is like an expert pie maker. Let's skip through this. Oh, it's not even on screen. There we go. So check out this how to make a triple berry pie down here. And there is Kelly right there next to me. My friend Kelly, she recently cut her hair though. So she has half of it gone. Still looks great even with half her hair. <laughs> Still has way more hair than I do. <laughs> Kelly, 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 my friend Kelly. Just reading here the comments. Hello, sad and lonely without my daughter. I love to cook and bake and make candles and such, but I don't have a home kitchen. Horse, it's 16 Celsius where you are. That is pretty cold. Awesome. Yeah, depending on where you live, um, will depend on what sharpeners are available to you. Um, if you take pick whatever common sharpener, if you're um, in the Philippines or wherever you're at, whatever country that you're in. Um, just check out what you know the common sharpening. If it's a sharpening stone, just learn how to use it correctly, um, so you sharpen your knife correctly. I have an actual, more of like a professional sharpener for my knives, um, and it's one where you, like you hold it and you you just pull your knife right through it, and it's really easy to use, um, and it does a really good job sharpening. Typical, <laughs> typical Canada. <laughs> uh, I have never been to Canada. I would like to go to Canada someday. I want to visit Banff. I hear Banff is actually really, really beautiful um, national forest or national park there in, in Canada. I would love to visit there someday. And I think it would be fun to go to Toronto. A lot of cool places to go to visit in Canada. The neighbor to the north.
Veronica thought 44. 44 is definitely cold here in the or here in Arizona. <laughs> And we don't get that cold very often, even in the wintertime. Sometimes the high will still be like 70 in January sometimes, <laughs> 70 Fahrenheit, which is really awesome. That's why a lot of us live here in Arizona, and we get a lot of snowbirds that come down from Canada in places like Wisconsin and Minnesota and North Dakota. A lot of people have second homes down here. Even from Canada, they'll, have, they'll own a second home um, here in Arizona, in, in Phoenix, and they will come down for like four or five months. We call them snowbirds. I need to be an opposite. I need to be a um, a summer bird, I guess. <laughs> I need to buy a mountain cabin somewhere. I think it would be awesome so I can go there during the summer. I don't have that much money to buy one, but it would be nice to have one. Maybe play, get a place in Colorado or get a place... Um, I really like Colorado, like the western slope of Colorado. It's really nice. Um, maybe in Montana or somewhere, even here in Arizona in the White Mountains or Flagstaff, really beautiful areas. I could buy a house there and then it's closer. Um, Utah, really nice places in Utah. Would be a, really fun. It would be fun to have a, a winter home or a summer home. And then I could um, rent it out Airbnb when I wasn't going to use it. Or maybe a beach house, that would be cool. A beach house would be neat. Maybe down in Mexico, that would be so awesome. Because if it's hot outside, but you're at a beach house, <laughs> and usually it's not gonna be 115 at the beach. Like it's just super hot here in the summer. Oh, you're in Lebanon, okay. Yeah, they should, you should be able to find some pretty decent sharpeners there. Um, yeah, 60 degrees isn't too bad. I get, that's a, still a chilly spring. Yeah. Yummy blackberries. Blackberries are one of my favorite berries. If you watch that triple berry pie, we use blackberries in that pie. Blackberry pie, just like a plain blackberry pie with just blackberries is really good too. So Audrey, if you watch that triple berry pie video, watch this triple berry pie video and then you can do everything. Just leave out or substitute the, um, the strawberries and the blueberries with more blackberries and you would be able to make a blackberry pie. Pretty awesome. Your ex-mother-in-law had a trailer in Yuma. Awesome. Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is yummy. That's a really good place to get food. I have one probably about 20 minutes away from me and 15 minutes away. There's a Texas Roadhouse. I'm not sure if I could find that recipe for the, the rolls. Those rolls are really good, the Texas Roadhouse rolls. I might be able to find one somewhere and be able to um, create it. Hello, Kira, or Kyra, Kira. Oh, thank you. All right. Let us... So normally what I do in, in the past is I would do, I would wait till the end to do the recipe. So let's do these in three stages. I'm going to start with the breakfast recipes. And once we run through those, um, we'll do a giveaway. And then we'll, and I'll answer questions along the way as well. So if you have questions, you can feel free to ask those. But if you have requests, like recipe requests for videos, um, you make a comment on one of my past videos with your request, because I can't keep track of them in the chat. So for any requests, go to one of the videos, or once this video is done streaming, you can um, comment on this video with your request. Will I ever visit Lebanon? 
Maybe someday I would love to travel to a lot of international places. Hello, Eugene. Welcome, Eugene. Oh, you still can't go inside because of restrictions. Yeah, we're pretty much open here in Arizona. Most places are open. You, gotta, you have to wear a mask when you walk in, but then you can take your mask when you sit down <laughs> and eat. But So I, apparently COVID can't get you uh, when you're sitting down and eating, but it can when you walk in through the restaurant door before you sit down. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just making a joke of that. Just making a joke. No one hate on me for making a joke about the mask. I wear my mask when I'm supposed to. <laughs> uh, I also did get COVID, and I, um, I'm getting my second shot, Moderna shot, on Thursday. I'm not too excited about it because um, after my first shot, my arm was super, super sore, and I got a headache all the next day. So the very next day, I had a headache the whole day. And they say the symptoms that you get are worse after the second shot. So I'm not really looking forward to, to that, but I'll do it. Even though technically, since I already had COVID, I had the antibodies, but just to be safe, I'm gonna take that. Um, also, in case I wanna travel or go on a cruise or something and they require the passport, then I will have it just in case. All right. Yeah, I think it's kind of dumb to, but um, those were the rules, so we just follow the rules. Um, as far as I know, most restaurants are still that way. You have to wear the mask to go inside, but you can take it off when you sit down. Um, it's like that in the movie theater, um, but there's more chances that you can just be sitting down watching the movie with the mask on and then just remove it to eat popcorn or whatever. Yes, Lebanon. Lebanese cuisine is yummy. I love Lebanese cuisine. There's a Lebanese restaurant about 25 minutes away in South Scottsdale. And they have Lebanese dancers. This is my funny story about the first time I went there, we had a big group of us. And uh, we were eating. And there was a belly dancer on. They had like a little stage area for belly dancers. And there was a belly dancer. And she walks over to me during her performance and like she grabs my hand to take me up on stage and i'm like no i'm not going on up there but then all my group they're like go up go up so i went up and i did a little belly dance for everybody it was awesome <laughs> anyway it was kind of fun so that is my lebanese uh, story lebanese restaurant story for you yes i'm fine like Kira, for me personally, um, the COVID symptoms were actually not as bad as actually the shot. <laughs> um, for me personally, the COVID symptoms were like less than like even a, like a mild cold, um, which I was very lucky because I know some people um, really got COVID really, really, um, really bad. Um, a friend of mine, she's still in the hot, she's been in the hospital for 10 days still and so she had it really bad my dad got it he's 86 and he was in the hospital for about eight days <laughs> stuff a 20 dollar bill on the belly dancer's bra oh i think she would have slapped me if i tried that this wasn't that kind of a, a place eugene <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't take it either, Veronica, if you were allergic. Hello, Chelsea. Welcome. Chelsea Robeson is another friend of mine. She lives here locally. So Chelsea and I, we were on a hike. We were on a hike. Um, and uh, it was, I think it was when we got back, right, Chelsea? When we got back from our hike, that's when we found out... Um, that's, that was like mid-March or late March when all the restaurants started implementing COVID rules. It was really kind of a surreal experience.
Thank you, Veronica. Yeah, my my brother's mother-in-law, she passed away from COVID as well. Very, very sad. All right, let's go through. Let's go through this first. Oh, that's the lunch. No, I don't want that one. I, not yet. Let's do this one. This is the dinner. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it is. I had it right. It was this one. Okay, so these are breakfast ideas from Food Network that you can maybe make for Mother's Day if you want. So this is lemon pudding, lemon pudding cakes with berries. I mean, it has the word cake in it. Who doesn't want cake for breakfast? Pancakes, you know, raspberries, sunrise, mimosa. I don't drink alcohol, but you can make it a, a virgin and have that for breakfast. Oh, these are breakfast and brunch recipes though. So that's cool. Ooh, look at those blueberry pancakes. Yum. Blueberry pancakes. That stack looks good. Ooh, a frittata. Yummy. Egg white frittata. Always a good idea to make frittatas. Uh, bruschetta. Strawberry ricotta bruschetta. That would be a good brunch idea. Another, this is a spritzer. Cinnamon rolls. Yum. Love cinnamon rolls. A crispy breakfast pita. So you could do like that pita, and I have homemade pita here on my channel, and you can do a little bit of pancetta, looks like, or no, prosciutto, and some arugula and spinach on top with a fried egg. Yum, that looks so good. I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is gonna make me money, or uh, hungry. Um, this looks like a little pasta dish for brunch. Yummy, and egg and cheese toast bowls. That looks really good. Looks super easy too. Corn cakes with strawberries on top. Yum. Whipped cream on the side. Or sour cream. Blueberry mint mule. Scones. Yummy. Can't go wrong with scones. That's a, a sheet pan brunch. Yum. A creme brulee. This is a yogurt creme brulee. That's a, like a breakfast version of a creme brulee. That's really cool. On the inside, you can see like it's a um, some fruit and some and some granola and then some yogurt on top, topped off with some finishing sugar that's been hit with a torch. Oh, that looks awesome! Corn muffins, yeah, that makes sense, Chelsea. About the um getting worse symptoms because I already had COVID. Chelsea had COVID a couple of times. I think you had it once or twice for a long time. Her symptoms were way worse than mine and she had it a lot longer than I did. Breakfast tart, spurt. I'm gonna run through these pretty quick. Just a nice little quick yogurt topped off with some granola. That's a really quick and easy breakfast to make. Breakfast lasagna, quick bread. Roasted asparagus. I wouldn't eat that for breakfast personally, but a great little brunch idea. This is from Giada. Giada is a great chef. A tart flam flambe, scrambled eggs and goat cheese. Yeah, another pancake recipe. More drinks. Baked shallot French toast. Yeah, that looks good. Anything French toast. Dutch baby. Also, we call those German pancakes here in the states, even though they're not German or Bismarck. Blueberry lemon muffins, green salad, eggs benedict, finger cookies or something. Peach puff pastry donuts. Yum, puff pastry. Love puff pastry. Blueberry pancake cake. Sunday mimosa. Milk chocolate and almond croissant. Eggsbert sunriser. Chocolate waffles. So this gives you some great ideas. Chocolate chip scones. And the street can and pour this. That looks really good. That's like a, um, is that Indian dish? No. Street can and pour this. Yeah, it is Indian. Yummy. Spinach mushroom quiche. 
Okay, so that gives you some ideas. Now, if we go to my website, boom, and we go to breakfast, this will give you some ideas as well. This braided puff pastry is amazing and super, super easy. Really, really easy. Um, learn how to make bacon in an air fryer. These breakfast corn dogs are awesome and super easy. Lemon poppy seed muffin. Jackie Kennedy waffles. Japanese souffle pancakes. Man, these look better than those other recipes we were looking at. <laughs> if you're gluten-free, you can try these gluten-free muffins. French toast roll-ups. French toast bites. Told you I like French toast. Acorn, if you have acorn flour, if you process your own acorn, you can make acorn blueberry. Cinnamon roll waffles. Homemade blueberry muffins. Those, don't those look amazing? Yeah. Keto blueberry pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes. Country fried potatoes. Pumpkin waffles. You can make a really round egg by using a mason jar ring. Just make sure that mason jar ring is stainless steel. Otherwise, it might be coated with some nasty plastic. Homemade hash browns. Apple fritters. All right, I won't keep going through all the <laughs> blueberry scones, almond, pop tarts, homemade beignets. These are amazing, yummy. Homemade fluffy pancakes. Okay, you can tell that I love breakfast, right? I love breakfast. These popovers are super easy and yummy. Glazed donuts. Anyway, you need to check those out. If you haven't checked all these recipes out, you've got to. Oh, this is another easy Danish, super easy. So you can make this Danish with the puff pastry, with one sheet of the puff pastry. You can make some of these cheese Danishes, and then with the other, make that braided strawberry puff pastry. And then let's go to the last page, because these are some of my favorites. Crepes, all-time favorite breakfast, probably. And then, of course, one of the best ones ever is the cinnamon roll. This was, these homemade cinnamon rolls, this video here on YouTube, um, it's probably what kicked off my channel like five years ago. That started getting really popular, and that's um, when people really started joining because of that. Anyway, check that out. So those are the breakfasts. Now we're at 8, 8.30, perfect time. A perfect time to do the first, the first giveaway. And what are we giving away? Well, I shall show you. Um... If you go to any of my recipe or any of my videos, you can find, except not on that one. <laughs> Where is it? It's not on that one. I didn't have it on there. Okay, let me look. Let's go to Amazon. Okay, that was the easiest way. So the giveaway is going to be the book, my book right here, All Things Chocolate. And you can buy it on Etsy or you can do it on Amazon. And normally it's $4.99, but maybe you'll get it for free. That's what I have for my giveaway. That's what I do um, for my giveaways so far. In the future, I'll probably do something else, but that's what I can do for right now. And so how the giveaway is going to work is I have this random number generator here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of the people who are active uh, active participants. And then I'll do a random drawing and pick one of those people and they will win that book. And then I, you, I'll have you email me and then I will reply to that email with the book. Pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, let me read through these. Let me catch up on the chat. I am hungry too. Oh yeah, that vanilla pudding is yummy. Okay, so if you're if, if you're just being silent and haven't said anything, make sure to say something in chat. Also, don't forget to smash the like button. Smash that like button. 
So let me look at the participants right now. Yeah, so right now it says there's only like seven of you. Um, and I know there's more of you online. So if you want to participate in or be a potential winner, so make sure you are participating. And so you can show up on this screen of mine and I'll show you what I'm seeing. So here is the chat. And then if I go up here and do participants, you can see the current participants. And so I, in order to show up on this list, you need to say something in chat. Say something. In, in my previous streams, whenever I talk about saying something, I always start to sing the song where it goes, Say something, I'm giving up on you. I don't know any more of that song, but that's what I do. And if I sing it too much, I might get a copyright strike. So I'm not going to. That's my little song for you. Anyway, <laughs> maybe one day during a stream, I will sing more of a song because I do like to sing. I'm not very good, but I like to sing. There we go. We got more people joining. Got some more people joining. Eugene joined. The participants join some more. And I will swallow my pride. Say something, I'm giving up on you. All right, Marilyn Daniels just joined. Okay. All right. I've given you enough time to join. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Um, and that way, if... Oh, someone just joined. I'll take a new one. I'll take a new one because we haven't started yet. That way we got... Okay. So let me take a screenshot. Oh, yeah. Smile poop. Yeah. What's up? Okay, so there we go. And there we have it. And if you just joined and your name didn't show up, we'll catch you next time. And so how this is gonna work is I am going to, oh yeah, um, hello Marilyn, welcome. Veronica, thank you. No worries, smile poop. Good, I'm glad you could join. All right, so here we go. So this is how this, I'm gonna just number you off. Emmy one, Eugene two, Marilyn three, Mrs. Tao four, Miss, Miss Feliz five, smile poop six, Teresa seven, Veronica eight, and Zena, or Zena nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what I do is come over here to this random number generator and put in nine, so it's one to nine, and generate. Here we go, drum roll. Corgi, what's up, Corgi squad? Thanks for joining. Drum roll, drum roll. Generate number eight, Veronica. Veronica story, congratulations. No, not that. This. No. What am I doing? This. There we go. Veronica, congratulations. Congratulations, Veronica. You are the winner. Congratulations. So, Veronica, to claim your prize, make sure to send me an email matt at in the kitchen with matt.com and I will reply with that um, book. Um, and if or if you forget the email, you can always come over to my website and go to contact right up here. Where we are gotta be on screen, go to contact right up here, and you can do that as well. Contact me that way if you want. And I will reply with that book. 
Hello, welcome from Madrid. Is it uh, Mibi? I apologize in advance if I pronounce anybody's names wrong. Nico, Nicoletta, hello, welcome. Chef Luca, hello, welcome from NYC. Welcome. Good luck as well. You are very welcome, Veronica. Oh yes, the cheese bread. That is so good. If anyone is from in here from Brazil, that Brazilian cheese bread or pão, it's very hard for non-English or non native Portuguese speakers. The, I pronounced it as pau in the video, but it's not. That's like the word for wood. Um, and queijo. Mm. So it's like pau. Pau, the queijo. I think that's how you pronounce it correctly. Um, but that's just cheese bread. We call it Brazilian cheese bread. And it's so yummy and really, really easy. You just put all the ingredients in the blender, blend it up, pour it into your um, muffin pan that's been sprayed and then pop it in the oven for 20 minutes and boom, they puff up and they are really cool and really good. And you can use a lot of different cheeses depending on the flavor that you want. So yummy. And then there's a different way to make it as well where it's more of a dough. And so it just turns out a little bit differently. Um, I think that's more of the classic way, the doughy way. Um, but the, the batter way is really awesome and much quicker. <laughs> and so I usually do it that way. Zena has a great karaoke app. Awesome. Karaoke is fun. Karaoke and singing is fun. Yeah, we'll do it again, Amy. You might get lucky. Okay. Now let's go over some let's go over some lunch ideas for Mother's Day. Um, so let's look at this pasta. Yummy. Country Mandarin orange chicken salad. Bon mi, a bon, a bon, bon mi, a bon mi sandwich, a bon mi. A farro salad, Buddha bowls, easy quiche Lorraine, mushroom risotto, lobster bisque. Yummy. This is the bruschetta pasta salad. Yummy. That looks really good. I love pasta. Cheesy spinach artichoke pasta. Mmm, I love. I love, love, love spinach and artichoke type stuff. So good. French toast casserole. Yeah. I would have that for lunch or breakfast. Bloody Mary burgers. Interesting, interesting. Anytime you have a burger. Easy Greek salad. That's such an awesome looking salad. I'm not gonna lie. I love a good salad. I love a good Greek salad. I love Greek food. Lemon ricotta pasta. Ham and cheese pinwheels. Strawberry balsamic pasta salad. Caprice salad. Cheesy croissant casserole. Yum. Shrimp BLT salad. Oh, there's nothing about that I did not like. <laughs> I love shrimp. I love bacon. I love tomatoes. I love lettuce. Oh, yum. Strawberry shortcake cheesecake, yum. Banana pudding bars. These are supposed to be lunch recipes. These are like desserts. <laughs> Biscuit and gravy bake. That's a lunch. Cannoli cheesecake. Definitely a breakfast or definitely a dessert. You can have it as a dessert with your lunch. Grilled peach, blueberry, and goat cheese arugula salad. Yeah, you got some tart or some bitterness from the arugula. And then you have some sweetness from the peaches and then the, the, um, the goat cheese will balance the flavors out as well. That's a very balanced, well balanced palette. And some sweetness from the blueberry. Boom, really good. Oh yeah, some more bruschetta, bruschetta. Ham and cheese croissant. That is just, would be my happy sandwich right there. Croissant with some 
melted ham or melted cheese on some ham. Oh. Cool. Now we go to my website. And we'll go to, let's see. So a lot of these different, I don't really have a lunch category. If we go to main categories, maybe. We'll see if we got some stuff in there. Some stuff in there. You could do a stew if you want. Black bean soup, French bread pizza, really easy. Homemade lasagna, the fool's gold loaf. <laughs> Ham and potato soup, if it's still cold where you live. This is my favorite, all time favorite soup. Absolutely incredible. Some fried chicken, easy baked chicken wings. That would be really good if your mom likes chicken wings. These crispy baked chicken wings are really yummy. And this is like the basic flavor here. And then you could easily do them like different flavors, like honey barbecue. Sous vide steak is always good. Just a classic grilled cheese sandwich. If you want something simple. Keto pizza. If your mom is on the keto diet, this pizza is awesome. Chicken nuggets. Juicy hamburger, one of my all-time favorites. Bacon wrapped steak, another one of my favorites. Baked tuna patty. Um, these are really good. You can have these as, instead of a meat substitute. You can use a fish substitute and make tuna patties. And then you can also do this with um, salmon if you want. Easy calzones. Ground beef tacos. Sheet pan fajitas. Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Fried rice. Beef bourguignon. My favorite stew recipe. This is out of this world, delicious. Out of this world, delicious. Fall off the bone, instant pot. Baby back ribs. If you have an instant pot, this is my favorite rib recipe. My buddy Tanner and I, uh, my co-hosted, so my buddy Tanner co-hosted this episode. White pasta sauce. If you love pasta, try out this sauce with some penne pasta. Homemade pizza, my all-time favorite pizza dough right here. Yum. Hand corn dogs. I love these homemade corn dogs. One of my most popular videos on YouTube are these homemade corn dogs. So that gives you some other lunch ideas from my website and channel. Yeah. Okay. Let's do another giveaway, shall we? Let's do another giveaway. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Yes, happy Mother's Day to you all. So Veronica, you can find my email here on my website. Go to contact and you can contact me there. Or it's just Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at In the Kitchen with Matt. Or if you go on one of my YouTube videos and you go over here to my home page, the home channel, and go over here to About. Oh, you know, I'm on our screen the whole time. Sorry about that. So go to In the Kitchen with Matt, the home screen, go to About, and you can find my email um, right down here, View Email Address. Click on that, matt at inthekitchenwithmatt.com, or again, just come over here to my website and go to Contact and contact me this way. There you go. So let's do another giveaway. random number generator. So if you are silent, make sure that you are saying something, saying something. So you show up on the chat. Show up on the chat, make sure you are saying something. And of course, if you already won, then I will just skip your name. Say something so you would show up on the chat. Do, 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 do. Anything you want, just say something. <laughs> I can make up a song uh, about this. Waiting around for you to participate in the chat. So you could maybe win a ebook with chocolate recipes that are so yummy and uh, you're probably laughing at me singing <laughs> anyway there we go here we go got some more people all right let's do this let us do this let us do this
Okay. There we go. Now. So Emmy is one. Maquette is two. Miss Tao three. Miss Feliz four. Smile Poop is five. Therese. Teresa is six. Veronica already won. And so Zena is seven. This is a good chance. You guys have like a 15% chance. 15% chance to win the book. That's a good percentage chance. 15, 16, 17, whatever the math is. Lower than 20, higher than 10%. Okay, so what do we say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, put 7 here. And here we go, drum roll. Yep, seven. Here we go. Boom. Number seven. Zena. Congratulations. Congratulations, Zena. Zena or Zena or Zena. Congratulations. Do, 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 do. You are the winner. Congratulations. Again, reach out to me. Reach out to me. <laughs> Teresa, <laughs> wish your chances would be like that in the lottery. <laughs> Adriana, hello, welcome. Do, 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 do. So, Zena, just make sure to reach out to me and I will send you that. Yeah. Ra uh, Baris or Waris Muhammad? Hello, welcome. Glad you joined. See if there's anybody else I missed. I didn't say hello to uh, Marilyn. I think I said hello. Thank you. Adriana, hello. Maquette, hello. Or. Yeah, like all the recipes are on my website. You can just find every one of those on my website. You don't necessarily need the book. I mean, the book is fun, um, but all of those all those recipes that are in the in the book are also on the website. It's, but they're all just in the on the book. It's just all thirty chocolate recipes right there. But if you want, you can just go to the website here and go to All Things Chocolate. And you can find them right here. There's even more recipes here that aren't even listed, that aren't even part of the book. But the book is pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, everyone. The best type of cheese. Um, my favorite cheeses are cheddar and mozzarella. Um, but I love cheese in general. I love a good charcuterie board, charcuterie with a lot of different cheeses on it, like uh, with goat cheese and Gouda and Munster and uh, Havarti and Gruyere. There's so many good cheeses out there. Irish cheddar, a really sharp, a really yummy sharp Irish cheddar Kerrygold brand I love. It's imported from Ireland. It is just divine. It's very sharp so I usually eat it with like a sweet piece of meat like a piece of steak um, or you know a piece of pork or something like that. You pair those together and then maybe even dab a little bit of a um, little bit of jam with it. Ooh, so good. I love charcuterie boards. <laughs> Teresa. Yeah, goat cheese and Parmesan. Parmesan, you can't ever go wrong with Parmesan. So this is a fun fact, or I put Parmesan cheese on my popcorn. 
Yep, I sure do. Um, I put so many things on my popcorn. Um, so the other night I did butter, salt, garlic powder, paprika, parmesan, and then I also did <laughs> this ranch seasoning. <laughs> it was so good. Five ingredients on there. I think there might have been, I might be missing one also. But let's see. Butter, salt, garlic powder, parmesan, paprika, and the, yeah, and the ranch powder seasoning. So six toppings on my popcorn. And it was awesome. Very good. Yes, marble cheese does seem to have a little bit more salt in it. So whenever you're like, especially if you're making that cheese bread, um, de depending on the cheese that you use, a lot of cheeses are salt more salty than others. And so you may want to reduce it a little bit. Just depends on how salty the cheese is by itself. And also if you're used to eating sweets, if you're used to eating sweets, cheese might taste a little more salty to you. Cinnamon sugar popcorn, yeah. So not necessarily sharp. The old is gonna, it'll be aged. It'll say aged on it. So the old, yeah, the, like if it's really old, it'll say aged on it. Yeah, cinnamon sugar is amazing. Or like a classic caramel popcorn is really good too. All right, let's go through the last list. This is a dinner. Dinner ideas. Dinner ideas. That looks good. A little chicken dish and some kind of a... Oh, lemon parmesan chicken. This is from Delish. Classic roast chicken. Man, I keep forgetting to put that on screen. So let's go back. This is from Delish Holiday Recipes, but this is from Mother's Day. Um, ideas, this dish here, lemon parmesan chicken, classic roast chicken, balsamic grilled steak salad. Yeah, we had a, we had a kind of a salad earlier, but this is adding some steak to it. Hmm, man, that looks good. Beef tenderloin, mm-hmm, yep. Lemon ricotta pasta, ricotta. Easy Greek salmon, another Greek recipe. That looks so good. I'm not really normally a fan of Kalamata olives, but in a dish like this, it's great because there's so many other flavors that you can add to it. Like it looks like this is some awesome cubed things of mozzarella, looks like maybe. And um, got some pickles, looks like. Some fennel is on there. And of course, some tomatoes, tomatoes. Looks like some um, red onion or purple onion. Mmm. Good, good, good. A creamy steak fettuccine. Mushroom risotto. Mango salsa grilled halibut. I love halibut. One of my favorite fishes. Fishes, fishes, fishes. Lasagna stuffed chicken. Mmm. That sounds good. Caprice chicken pasta. Baked garlic butter salmon. Yum. Spinach artichoke manicotti. Garlicky lemon mahi mahi. Mahi mahi is another wonderful, wonderful fish. So it's not super fishy tasting. Like, and if you prepare it correctly, it almost tastes like steak. Mahi mahi is amazing. Linguini with clams. Another caprice chicken. That looks so good. Mm. And then bake, bake eggplant parm. Delicious. Yeah. And then on my website, let's see. We went through the main dishes already. That's where I kind of had the dinner and the lunch ones. Um, but here's some side dishes you can add to breakfast, dinner. 
like the potato salad is awesome. Really good. Like I love this potato salad. These twice baked potatoes are amazing. A good little appetizer here, these bacon and cheese mashed potato balls, especially if you have leftover mashed potatoes. Homemade barbecue sauce, pumpkin puree, yada, yada, yada. Homemade mac and cheese, really good. Roasted baby potatoes, I love these. The tachos. You can have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, these tachos. Hard boiled eggs. Let's see if there's any other lunch or dinner. Homemade croutons, if you're going to make those salads, these homemade croutons are divine. Crispy fried shrimp, that's a good little idea for dinner. Pan fried asparagus. Creamy mashed potatoes. Perfect baked potato. Crispy onion rings. Easy spring rolls for a lunch light. A, a light lunch or dinner. These are the Vietnamese spring rolls, not the fried spring rolls. Sometimes these are also called summer rolls, depending on where you live. And one of my favorite chip dips of all time, the spinach artichoke dip is absolutely amazing. Homemade french fries, deviled eggs, homemade pizza sauce to go with that homemade pizza dough. And these roasted Brussels sprouts with garlic and bacon is an amazing side dish. If you like Brussels sprouts, you got to check that out. Try it out. Cool, 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 cool. All right, well, that's enough of that. So that gives you several ideas um, on a couple of different websites, Food Network, Delish, and also my website, of course. Definitely check my website first for recipes, you know, ideas for Mother's Day before you go to one of those other. I mean, what do they know? They don't know anything. I know everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I don't care if you use one of the other recipes, but I do have a lot of good recipes. You are welcome, Zena. H H7 Apollo. Hello, welcome. So you are on low carb using some keto. Awesome. I do have some keto recipes. If you just type in keto, Veronica, if you come over here to uh, my website and up here, just type in keto in the search bar. And you can find the keto related ones. These keto blueberry pancakes, keto pizza, keto peanut butter cups, keto shortbread, keto granola bars. These homemade cheese crisps are keto as well. And then the rest of the stuff, it's healthy smoothies. No, none, these aren't keto. They just, there's, I mentioned the word keto somewhere in there. And these gluten free, these are gluten free, but they're not necessarily keto. But anyway, those are my, these six ones are all very keto specific. And then there's other recipes in there, like salads and things that you can make keto as well. And of course, the bacon, the air fryer bacon, that's keto. <laughs> uh. Jana, welcome. Yes, you're late. We're about ready to end, but better late than never. Salt and pepper chicken. That sounds yum. Yes, the onion rings. Yeah, that's like a classic um, battered onion ring. Um, I'll, I want to do some other onion rings that have a different type of batter to it, maybe with some cornstarch um, for a lighter tasting batter or lighter batter. I have so many desserts, Jana. I have so many desserts on my channel, my YouTube channel, and on my website. So many desserts. I'm always making those. Definitely will be making more. So keto is just the type of, keto is short for ketosis. And it's just, uh, ketosis is a state that you can get your body in where it's, you're training your body to burn fat as the energy source, as the main energy source, as opposed to like carbs and sugars. And then so you are, when you're on the keto diet, it's very, very low carb, very low carb um, diet. And you usually cut out unrefined or, you know, sugars and refined, a lot of refined food. You just cut that stuff out and you're eating a lot of vegetables. Um, and also not too many fruits. There are some fruits that are keto. Uh, that reminds me, my brother has a keto channel that you can check out if you're on keto or, um, or on the keto diet. You can check out his 
channel. And I will show you that one. So here is my brother's channel. He is a keto certified coach, certified intermittent fasting and keto coach. And he doesn't have a ton of videos yet, but he has stuff that you can check out. Really good um, channel on keto. So make sure to subscribe to his channel and check out his keto videos. Keto with JT. So deep frying in an open pot is fine. Just make sure you don't fill it up too much and you, you should be fine. And don't make sure the heat is not too high. Um, so you definitely got to be double check that heat. For most things you can deep fry in like the 350 Fahrenheit, which is 176 Celsius to the 375 range, which most oils can handle that temp. So just, just be careful and uh, don't fill it up very well. A lot of times you can only, you only need about that much deep oil, about an inch and a half deep of oil and that should really um, ease your concerns if you have a deep pot. Um, okay, or you can do a shallow, a shallow deep fry is with, like if you only have a pan that's only like two inches tall, you can only put in maybe like a half an inch deep of oil and then you can shallow pan fry or shallow deep fry your chicken like uh, or filet or whatever you want to do and you just have to turn it more. Um, so you might want to do that instead of uh, a large pot deep fry. Yep, full of fats and meats like the keto diet. You um, you just you I I have a lot of stuff that I eat in my diet that's considered keto, but I'm not specifically on the keto diet myself. Like for lunch, a lot of times I do vegetables, and then I'll do like some meat with some cheese, and that's my lunch. And I do healthy eating like that because I that way I can eat the junk food. <laughs> I love chips and popcorn and treats. As you know, if you follow my YouTube channel, if you follow me over the years or even the past couple months, you know that I make a lot of like <laughs> sweet tasting foods. Um, so I need to, I eat healthy other times during the day so I can eat that stuff. Nice, Jenna. It may or may not be safe for diabetics. Thelma, hello. Welcome from New Jersey. As long as you're careful, there's very, very rarely will you get a kitchen fire from um, hot oil. It does happen once in a while, but that's because um, mistakes were made. I'm not sure when the next sweet recipe is going to be. I don't know what I don't have know what I have planned yet for Monday's video. That Monday's video will be a uh, another short trailer style video, about three minutes long, um, two to three minutes long, and I'll be taking an old long recipe and turning that into that. And then I think on for Thursday, the next Thursday's video, I think is going to be a super quick and easy poached egg, like a perfect poached egg in like 90 seconds. It's awesome. And I love poached eggs. Poached eggs is one of the more healthy ways to cook an egg because you're just pretty much cooking it in hot water, boiling water. And uh, so I'll probably be doing that. Thank you, Thelma. Jana, macarons. Yes, I have a video on the macarons. And a on and also the recipe on the website. Not to be confused with macaroons. Most everyone here in the United States says macaroon, but a macaroon is different than a macaron. So I will show you the difference. Oh, 
Oh, oh, also for Mother's Day, if you want to impress your mom, make this chocolate souffle. Oh my goodness, absolutely incredible. It is like eating a cloud of cake and it's just absolutely incredible, especially if she loves chocolate. This is one of the most classy, most like elegant desserts you can make and not very difficult either. Okay, this is a macaron. And most people here in the United States, they say macaroon for this, but that's not what it is. This is not a macaroon. It is a macaron with only one O, okay? Macaroon is different. A macaroon is made with coconut. This is a macaroon, okay? This is a macaroon. These are super easy to make. Um, with sweetened condensed milk and shredded coconut and other things. No eggs in that one at all. Super basic, easy. Oh, sorry, there are eggs, just egg whites. Anyway, that's the macaroon. Really yummy if you like coconut. Try that out. And then this is the macaron. And I could probably even be pronouncing it wrong. Macaron. I've been, it's been many, many years since I had my French class in high school. <laughs> many, many years. Over 25 years ago, I took French. Okay, let's do the last giveaway and then we'll wrap it up because it is not almost 9.15 and I've been going for an hour and 15 minutes and I am really hungry. <laughs> I am really hungry and need to have some breakfast. But again, make sure to smash that like button here uh, and make sure to make a, um, a comment. If you have a, a, um, a request for a recipe, make a comment on one of my videos uh, instead of in the chat because I can't keep track of all the, the requests in the chat. Miriam, hello, glad to hear that. That is a very nice compliment. Okay, let's do the final giveaway. So make sure if you're just listening in the background, make sure to say something if you wanna be part of the giveaway. And again, if you have just joined, this is where I will sing my bit of a song. Say something, I'm giving up on. So uh, yeah, I actually have the lyrics, so I can sing a little bit. This is um, what Christina Aguilera sings this, but it could you know be sung by a guy as well. It sounds pretty cool from a guy. Okay, so make sure that you are participating or talking, and you can show up on the show up on the thing here. Say something, and then I will sing a little bit of that song for you all. You can hear my singing voice, even though I haven't warmed up my voice at all. You ha I have not warmed up my voice. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to. Anywhere I would have fallen. I can't even, I haven't even heard this song in a long time. So let's just go straight to the chorus. <laughs> and I'll swallow my pride. You're the one that I love. And I'm saying goodbye. Say something I'm giving up on you. Okay, if I sing any more of that, I'll probably get a um, copyright violation. So I will not do any more. Anyway, there's a little taste of an un, um, unpracticed, unwarmed up singing voice of mine. <laughs> Hopefully you're entertained. You get a little giggle, a little chuckle at my complete rubbish um, singing voice. Okay, let's do this, do this, do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We've got a lot of people participating now. A lot of people. Here we go. This is the participants. 
and we will do a screenshot of these people. Okay. Yeah. So if you're just new and you haven't been through one of these um, drawings, what I do is I just count you off. And if you've already won, then I'll just skip your skip your name there. So on this one, Veronica and Zana already won. Zana. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of you, yeah. Oh, thank you, Thelma. <laughs> Yes, the karaoke night stream. <laughs> I think you have to sing like a certain amount of it for for them to get a, a copyright strike or yeah. But if I think you do, if you do fifteen seconds or less, I don't think they will do that. So anyway, hopefully that doesn't happen. That would not be good. Okay, what was it? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, here we go. We put ten in there. Jump roll. Here we go. And get right. Number five. One, two, three, four, five. Marilyn Daniels. Congratulations, Marilyn. Congratulations, Marilyn. Congratulations, Marilyn. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Yes, congratulations, Marilyn. So the names come, you had to be active in the chat, Vikas. That's your name probably didn't show up because you didn't haven't said anything until now. But uh, anyway. So there we go, Marilyn won. Congratulations. Once again, to all the winners, just send me an email and I will reply with that. And I will reply with that. Ebook, matt at inthekitchenwithmatt.com is my email. You could also go to my website and find here, go to the contact page and contact me that way or on my YouTube channel, go to the about and then scroll down to the details and you can find my business inquiry email right there. Oh, sorry, I always do that. <laughs> you never see it on screen when I'm talking about it. So here are the about section on my YouTube channel, the contact section here on my website. Best ways to email me. Okay, there we go. I am feeling parched, all that singing. <laughs> All that singing. Yes, Vikas, make those crepes. Crep, 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 crep. <laughs> crep. There's just like this little, the French like pronunciation of it. You have to use a little bit of your throatiness to pronounce it the, the, the right way or the French way. Here in the United States, the American English, we say crepe, even though it's not the right way to say it, but we always say crepe. Not to be confused with crepe paper. But anyway, yeah, those are yummy. Awesome, Vikas. That's, uh, I love that you like that recipe. Um, one of my most popular recipes or videos here on YouTube. That one, the cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip cookies, um, the corn dogs. All right, everyone. Well, we've been at it for an hour and 20 minutes. Appreciate you joining on this Mother's Day weekend. Um, and uh, hopefully you are able to do something uh, with your mother um, if she is still around and um, make her feel good and make some breakfast or lunch or dinner for her. Maybe buy her some flowers. Whatever you like to do. You know your mom better than I do. And uh, give her a hug uh, at least. <laughs> <laughs> if you can. I know some others have um, passed away and moved on. Um, so anyway, 
Hope you are all doing well and hope you have a wonderful rest of this day and a wonderful weekend. Have fun cooking and baking and making wonderful food and uh, smash that like button. And I am grateful that you have subscribed and are part of my channel. Until next time, take care, everyone. Oh, I have an update real quick before we go for all of you who are still on here. Uh, my kitchen is almost completely done. I don't know if you saw my uh, my old video like several months ago. Six months ago, I was remodeling my kitchen and uh, it's almost completely done. So hopefully in a week or two, I will be able to do the big kitchen reveal finally. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Now, now for sure I'm going. <laughs> Take care, everyone.